the black lock in House Deneath. I've been sent in here uh, as a continuation of exterminating the blood tide to talk to Tin Deneath. What's the mission? He says, well, we've learnt the black lock was invaded by necromancers. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the necromancers. And he'll just hang out ready here yourself for the upcoming and do nothing. Battle against the necromancers and their undead pirate minions. So I'm switching to my undead beta because it will kill these hobgoblins perfectly well anyway. It just means I'm not switching back and forth the whole time because I'm really lazy. And it is actually noticeably slower than the card effects. I think the bulk of the mobs in this quest are undead. These guards look and smell like zombies, but their quick and decisive movements suggest that these are no ordinary players. Well, seem pretty ordinary to me. Time to see how fast I can shoot a bow, he says. Yes. A small keyhole painted green is visible in the door. Perhaps you can find a key that opens it. Perhaps so. There's only up here. And for some reason I never used to enjoy this quest, I just didn't do it. I did the bargain of blood quite a lot. One of the quickest epic tokens, that's why. This one's probably just slightly slower, so it wasn't on the menu. So that's the first of the necromancers, maybe the only necromancer? No, there are more. And there's the green key, this great. vile green key may prove useful later on. Well, it will prove useful on that little door that I just found. So Deneath, House Deneath, who I'm working for up here, they're, they're the mercenary house, and my hiding might die. She's doing quite well, actually. Oh, good. And, um, so they've been paid money to have me do this this work. And that's why I'm here. They The other pirates usually use this area. And they're pissed off about the fact that all these dead pirates, the pirates have showed up. Behind this door continue their duel, oblivious to your presence. So they gave the some money to House Deep. I'll get through that yet. It's a red key needed. Where's the red key? Is that little corridor off to the left? Yes, I'm just going to park my Harley so it doesn't run through the trap again. Summit. in there. That's more like it. Yeah, no 
nothing that's really difficult enough in this quest to not to warrant me putting it into full screen. This key is colored a rich red. You can't tell whether the color is paint or rust or something worse. What's this way? Let's just roll the dice. Yeah, she's fine. I think Harlings have their traps again. Uh, saves against traps ramped up massively. I think when they first came into the quest, they'd just die instantly in every trap. They still die a lot. They're definitely better than they used to be. You can see nothing moving on the pirate ship below. It appears to be complete moans, and the sounds of shuffling feet come from further down this corridor. So, by the sound of it, I'm going to have to go back to the pirate ship below before long. Must be the third necromancer here. Disembodied voice emanates from within the globe. Resign yourself to failure. If you fall, you will join our ranks. If you succeed, you cut our failed experiments. Rains, rains. It's weird. Did somebody forget to put a B in that? Oh no, it's a failed experiment. <laughs> Fair enough. Go like that. Those are bad zombies. hoping to run into another necromancer's apprentice there if it wasn't to be Feels like the right way. Yes, yeah, this is um, this is virgin territory. Just no mobs, which is surprising. Fatigue from my rage now. Where's my Nether Restore potions and my newly revamped hot bars? I did something clever with them, didn't I? Uh, I put them in a place where I could hit it with a number on a keypad. And then forgot I'd done it. Beyond the door, a ship floats placidly in a vast underground cavern. No doubt Darren Ketuk's quarters are aboard the vessel. Turning your attention to the door itself, you notice its lock is surrounded by a pleasing jeweled pattern. I haven't got a pleasing jeweled key, so that's completely useless to me. What's down this way? Another treasure room. Coins glint Another one of which I can't get corridor, into. But so do the steel weapons held in pirate hands. 
Le paix de zombie. Him with stun down. One more apprentice. The blue on this key is only cheap paint over a flimsy wooden key. The keyhole in this door is the same bright blue as a polished sapphire. So now this will be a jewel key, presumably, yeah. Sadly, the jewels encrusted into this key are all cheap baits made of case. <laughs> so the Blood Tide, despite all of their success, are not investing a great deal of money in their keys. Talk a good game, but the reality is they're just not up to scratch. Now, which way was the jeweled key and which way was the treasure room that's the treasure room this is the jewel key i hope or i've just gone back where i started no here it is good Looking ship. Yeah, switching into this mode means you get absolutely no information. So I only do it when I'm confident that nothing's gonna cause problems for me. As you wonder whether the ship is still empty, you hear a shout from the quarter deck above. Darren Kituk has arrived. So it's a minions first by the look of it. I don't think I can touch him until I've killed his enemies. There's got to be more to it than that. No, he's still talking. More undead then. Sick when I try to do that with a full screen. Not used to it, used to seeing it through the little frame of all my taskbars. Are you gonna? No, more is it? No, it just keeps on bringing wave after wave of undead. Ah, oh, here he is, good, let's kill him. Swap my weapon. There is no emotion on Darren Kituk's face as you cut him down. No sign of concern about what awaits him. 
He simply stares blankly ahead as his body falls lifeless to the ground. I'm sure there's going to be a chest somewhere on this ship, but I don't know where it is. I'm just going to wander around for a bit before I start recording and see if I can find it. But that is the end of the quest. Maybe the, qu the chest is the treasure room, which was which we couldn't get into. Oh, he says there's a bloody great big chest right in front of him. With a gold key this for the treasure room. Right, I'm going to get the treasure room. Solid gold. It could fit only one door in the black lock. Hmm. And it is actually made of solid gold, so they've invested in the final key. Good on them. So yeah, I mean, we all know where the treasure room is. I'm going to go back there anyway. Let's see if I can get any filthy loot. I don't know, there are a couple of reasonably nice levelling items in this, this quest, but as far as I remember, all of the loot in here has really been surpassed by by future loot, both in the heroic and the epic form. There's a monk the thing that was quite nice. Hunted the treasure before you mm, three during chests. its raid on the Black Lock. Perhaps you will find a better use for it than they did. Lots of chests. That's good. Considering it's quite a long long quest, but still, that's tons of loot. And then you can you can click on all the piles of gold as well. Um, but it's kind of time consuming and you get pretty dodgy stuff for it. What have I got for here? 64 copies, you know, so if you want to load up your uh, inventory with jewels and things, you will occasionally pick up items. But anyway, that's the end of the quest. I'll see you in the next one.